hello everyone today i'll be showing you how to use some social media account to make workflow easy uh, for example uh, if you are in a school and because of the pandemic you are not able to meet uh, for a physical contact session then you can make use of uh, many uh, applications and continue with your classes or continue with your lectures uh, if you are a teacher and want to reach out to your student, if you are in an organization and then you want to hold meetings, you know, these days you don't have to come together to one place. You can just meet one another via some applications. So you look at some of them, they are very beneficial to all of us, whether you are a student, whether you are a, a worker, whether you are an entrepreneur, whatever you are, whether you are a ministry, you are running a ministry, you know, you can uh, meet your congregation or your church members via social media platforms. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is Skype. Skype, uh, this uh, has existed for many years and it's uh, very good. So to get to Skype, let's go to our internet browser. Then in here, we have many ways to do that. You can type maybe www.skype.com or something like that. And it, it takes you there. But if you are not sure of the website address, uh, please go to Google. You see www.google.com. You click on enter. Then this search bar, just type in Skype. It's so easy. Okay. If it is Facebook you want to get to, you can use the same procedure. You just open your browser. Then you type google.com or www.google.com. Then in the search button, type Facebook, type Skype, type Zoom, and what have you so let's continue all right so here we have uh, the first one www.skype.com so that's what we're looking for so just click here then it will open for you okay so we have two ways eh? you can connect to skype via online okay and then you can also connect to skype from your desktop that is, you can download the software, and then after downloading the software, you just install it, okay? Uh, I've already installed it on my PC, so I don't have to uh, reinstall it. Otherwise, I was going to click download, okay? Now, when you download, I'll show you quickly. I have already downloaded this, okay? So, it should look like this. I'll, I'll go and show you um, this program. Let's go to downloads. Normally, when you download something from the internet, you see, you get it from downloads. Uh, I did explain this in uh, some of the previous videos. You come to uh, File Explorer here, you click. Then on the left pane here, you look for downloads. You click downloads. So everything you have downloaded will be here, okay? I downloaded this, I think, last week. So this is the Zoom installer, okay? So uh, the setup. So you just double click on it. Then it will start running then it will ask you do you want to continue you say yes you say yes then you agree to the uh, user terms of agreement and then uh, it will just install it for you so it's very simple okay but as i said earlier i already have this installed on this computer so i don't have to repeat it uh, however if you don't want to install it and you want to enter into uh, skype straight away you can just go to this side here, you see sign in, okay? Sign in, you can click here to see uh, what is there. When you click on the arrow, it gives you this option. If it, you are a first time user, you have to click on sign up, okay? All right, you click on the arrow, or even if you click directly, you will still be able to get this thing here. Then you go to sign up, okay? Sign up, then let's see uh, what happens. Uh, it will take us to, another place let's wait so when uh, this opens you just fill in your details okay your phone number uh, to ask for your email address you create your password and go to next 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 okay so uh, yeah you may have to use your gmail account or gmail uh, yeah address and then you'll be able to set up you know or you will, you will, you, will, you will be able to sign up uh, sorry so once you sign up uh, that's it that's it okay so you can now log in okay so i'll go back here i'll click here so let's say if you already have an account and you want to sign in you click here sign in then to my account or use online 
okay now to my account as i said i have an account uh, i have installed this software already okay but then if i want to open uh, via online okay then i'll click use skype online so that i'll put in my details so it's opening for me so i'll put my email address then i go to next and then i'll put my password here okay then sign in then it will sign in for us but i'm not going to do that because uh I have it on my desktop, so I'll open it from my desktop. Okay, so let me look for Skype and uh, I click to open. So just give a moment. But for uh, a new user, you will go through these uh, steps. Okay, when Skype opens, you see something like this. Okay, so normally uh, your contact will be here, your, your contact will be here. You can do a lot of things or you can search for, you know, uh, new contacts, you know, uh, if you know the Skype name for some of your friends, you type the name of your friend and then uh, you go to search. So let's say uh, Daniel uh, Gala. Let me see if this one exists. Yeah. So you can see as I type uh, Daniel in Gala, here we have a, a number of Daniels here. Okay, so uh, you have to confirm with the person because it also has a special uh, code here. These characters that the, the Skype ID, okay, they are unique to each individual. So if the person can give you the Skype ID, it becomes easier to connect to the person, right? So uh, it's very simple uh, to connect. I'll show you another way to connect to people as well. Okay, so uh, these are my contacts. The person I want to call, uh, if it's this person here, I click. Once I click, uh, the name appears here. Okay, if it's this other person, so whoever I want to click, if it's this person, I just click, and the name will appear. If it's this person, I click, then the name appears. So if I want to call, I can just call audio or video. Okay, so either I choose between audio call or video call. So the one I prefer, I just click. If it's video, I click. And then it will just start dialing and it will connect to the person. So once the person responds at his or her end, then, you know, uh, you'll be able to see uh, his or her picture and then the communication will begin. Okay. So there is no response from this person. Okay. So that's it. If I want to send a, a message, you see here, it says type a message. Hello. I tried uh, to contact you, you know. Then you click on this arrow to send. Okay, so that's also another way of uh, reaching out to people or communicating with your contact. Okay, so you can just explore here. Then over here to uh, let me go to uh, contact. We go to contact. Okay, contact. Uh, my contacts are appearing here, and then uh, I want to show you something. Uh, I don't want a group. There is something else. Uh, I want to show you okay let's go here uh this one is if you want to make a skype call like you're making a phone call okay so you can you can do that you can do that as well so uh let's go to new contact new contact now let, let me uh, take my time to explain something to you okay now i want to make contact but i don't know which of my friends is on Skype so I go to new contact here okay and uh, the options are I could I, I could I mean search for this person if I know the Skype name or the Skype account name or I can uh, use uh, email or SMS or whatever here they will give me a code but if I know the phone number of the person I can also use this option okay but I want to get a, a like a link that I will use to invite the person so I'll click on invite okay so you see after clicking on invite they have provided with me uh, this link so you copy copy you click on copy so it has copied so i can go and email my friend or i can just paste it and then later send it via a uh, whatsapp or any platform you know so that my friend uh, can easily click on the link and connect with me on skype Okay, so it's very simple to do. So I want to paste the link so that you will see. So this is the link, yeah, that uh, we got from Skype. So you just have to copy and send this to any person that you want him or her to connect. Even if the person doesn't have Skype, it's okay. 
the person by clicking on this skype will direct the person to install the app and then we'll be able to connect with you so basically this is how we use skype okay to invite friends to make calls video calls and audio calls and stuff like that and even to send messages so you can explore it okay because of time so uh, that would be for uh, skype so i'll close this one then the next application which is so important uh, that many businesses or organizations are using is uh, zoom all right so we use zoom to make uh, video conferences uh, for uh, you know meetings uh, for lessons for many many things okay so here to we will repeat the same uh, procedure you can go to www.google.com okay and then when this address bar opens or when this uh, search button opens just type zoom okay it's very simple then you click so after pressing enter you will see uh, the website here we are looking for the one that goes like zoom uh, all of these things so i don't think i need them now we have this one this is the correct one https uh, colon then forward slash two of them zoom.us so that's the one we want okay there also we can download uh, an app and install it on our computer or on our phone so that each time we connect it via the app on our phone or on our computer okay so or you can sign in via online it's all up to you okay so if i want to sign in or if it's your first time you have to sign up so you go to free sign up okay so when it opens you just fill in the details the processes are always the same you put in your email address uh, then you go to next 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 and then uh, you'll be able to create a password for yourself if you already have created an account you go to sign in otherwise you go put your email you go to sign up it will lead you to the next information maybe your name and surname your contact and stuff stuff like that then you'll be done with it okay so once you are done you'll be able to sign in online but i don't want to sign in online because i have an account so i'll also go to zoom i'll open it for my computer zoom so it appears here then i'll click now zoom is a very powerful uh, software or a very powerful platform that you can use to schedule a meeting uh, with a group of people or with your friends uh, and then uh, have a nice discussion uh, via video conferencing so we are going to see uh, in brief how this thing works uh, it's still opening let me just minimize this and see what's happening okay so you can see this thing here normally when it opens the interface is like this it says join a meeting if uh, someone has created a meeting and giving me the code you know uh, i can just join a meeting with a code they call it passcode okay so normally you have a passcode and maybe a password okay but uh, i want to sign in into my account so i, I go to sign in and uh, let me see if i can remember uh, my account okay let me see my password i hope i still remember okay uh, it looks like it's working so it opens for me it opens for me so this is uh, the place where we are okay so if i want to join a meeting i click join the meeting okay if i want to schedule a meeting i can go to schedule or new meeting it doesn't really matter so i can just uh, click there okay so here uh, it's an instant meeting okay that I, I can start with someone okay but then if i want to schedule one uh for a future date okay maybe i want to schedule a meeting for the next 20 minutes or the next one hour or uh, after a day or you know whatever so i can just okay let me end this one here you click on end okay then uh, end meeting for all okay so this one to schedule or uh, this one is like you want to start an instant meeting okay then this is schedule a meeting okay so here there will be some time interval okay so let's say uh, today is Saturday, uh, May 15, 2021. Okay, that's the date I want to start. If I want to start tomorrow, uh, so the date that you want to start, if it is 16, 
you just click on 16 right okay well let me leave it as today and then uh, uh okay they they have scheduled it to uh, they are proposing that 2 p.m because it's now 181 let me make it uh 145 okay no yeah 145 is okay 145 is okay 145 is okay uh, or maybe one, I don't know, 40. 140. I don't know if, uh, because I want it to uh, work right now. Let's say 137. 137 is fine by me. Okay. Then uh, duration of the meeting. Uh, normally, for the free account, you have a limited time. Uh, you may not be able to do for more than 40 minutes so you can see here uh, it's showing you that uh, your zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time limit so that's the only advantage uh, with three or more participants okay so if you are having three or more participants then you will not be able to do more than 30 minutes i mean more than 40 minutes for the free account okay all right so uh let's uh, i have a meeting of 10 people so let me just uh, uh go here zero hour and adjust a minute to 40 uh let me make it 40. okay i don't have that option okay let's see 30 minutes is fine all right then the time zone you can choose a time zone okay now i'm using pretoria time zone so it's okay by me so uh there's a passcode that you'll be giving to uh the participant of this meeting okay then that's the meeting id but you still get a link that will make it much easier for us so if uh, everything is fine by me okay here you don't have to worry much about this side here yeah? so i'll just click on save okay so it's as simple as uh, i must put a topic for the meeting okay so i can say uh workshop saturday's uh, saturday's workshop right saturday's workshop okay then uh, i put the date and the time those are the important ones to do and you click on save so it is scheduling the meeting so these are the details normally the person uh, will be giving you know the details here okay you copy this to your email or you just click on copy to clipboard okay but the main important thing is uh, the person needs the link once he or she clicks on the link it will just open or if the person has already uh, downloaded this app on the, his or her phone or computer, then only the meeting ID and the passcode will be enough. So I go to copy to click board. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I just can close this one here. Okay. So that's it. Now, you see, it pops up here, Saturday's workshop, right? Starting what? Three minutes. So I can just uh, start or let me show you something. I can go here. You see this, the three dots here. Before I join the meeting, I can go to the three dots here. And if I want to copy the invitation again, I click on copy invitation. Okay. So uh, I copy it again so that I'll have the details. And uh, I can come to my email and then send or I can go to my hosta. Okay. And then uh, basically give the invitation link to the people that i want to attend or participate for example i'll just quickly go to my email then we'll see something www.gmail.com just give me a minute please okay so there we go here let me open here uh go there okay so i want to invite someone uh, to join this meeting so as usual to create a, a message or uh, to create an email i go to the compose right so i click on compose then uh, i put the email address of the person let's say calbert cafe uh, workshop 
Saturday workshop. Then I paste the link here. Okay, so all the details are here. All the details. So I click on send. So when the person gets to their email, the person will see. Okay, let me say send. Let me say send. Okay, so it has sent right. Now uh, I want to show you two things. Uh, I will go to open uh, the email account of this participant. It's one of my emails. Okay, so I don't want to close this. I'll go to this here and go down here to add another account. Okay, so it will open another Gmail account for me. Okay, so uh, where is it? Okay, let me go and get it. I think it's uh, Calvert Cafe. This one here. Then next. And next, I've already saved my uh, password and stuff like so I don't have to, you know, enter it again. So we will go and check whether we have any invitation like that. So there is an invitation for, uh, invitation from uh, Charles Guampon. So Saturday workshop. So you just click on this one here to see, and you see the link. So you will just click on the link, and it will take you straight to Zoom, right? And then uh, sometimes it may ask for your meeting ID and then your passcode. You just copy and paste. Then you'll be able to join. It's as simple as that. So let me go back here. Okay. Now I want to start because they said now I can start. So I can start. Sometimes you can really start before the actual time. Okay. And wait for the exact time to uh, start the program. So it pops up like this. Join with computer audio. Yes test speaker if you want to test your speaker you click here but uh, i have tested it it's fine by me so i just say join with computer audio so it's opening okay so this would be the interface where we will be working from okay so this is uh, the, the the interface okay is it like you cannot see any picture here because my video is off so i can click here you know so that uh, I can start the video so when they connect they can see my face and everything will go well okay so here uh, mute if uh, I want to mute myself so that uh, no one will hear me okay I'll mute myself if I want to talk I can unmute myself also from here now on this arrow when I click okay uh, we have a few things here that you can actually uh, take a look all right then the participant also we click the arrow uh, there's only one participant okay i can invite more by clicking here to add more participant whilst the meeting is going on i can uh, start a chat okay i click here then i send a message maybe someone cannot hear me uh, hi is everything okay you see you can uh, send a short message so that they, they will find out maybe the person cannot hear and the person also when they speak you don't hear the person then you can just uh, send a, a message through chat okay we have screen share if i want to share my screen i can even record you know this meeting i can record it you see it has started recording here i can pause it i can stop it and stuff like that so there are so many things that you can do so i want you to find time and explore more when i'm done i just click on end and i can enter you know the meeting or i can leave the meeting on then i myself I just leave and they will continue with the rest of the meeting but if i want to end the entire program i just click on end meeting for all then that will be the end so this is uh, how simple uh, this may be okay it's how simple this may be okay so that is a uh, zoom that is zoom okay so we are done with zoom uh, the next thing i want to show you will be um let me say okay i forgot that uh, i was recording so it has a uh, sent me the, the recorded program here in mp4 format okay so you can see that it has sent it to me on my computer so you go to uh, your computer you look for documents okay so you come to you know file explorer you click on file explorer on this side you look for document and you see a folder called zoom okay so this folder here you open it then you'll be able to see the recorded you know program right so i recorded just for i think a few seconds so i don't think it's gonna be anything much but in case you, you want to see uh, this is how it looks like so i want to open 
with Windows Player so that you see. Okay, so you can record the entire video and then later uh, maybe put it on your YouTube this channel. This meeting, I can record it. So that I started recording here. People, I can pause it and stop it. You can still have this meeting. This meeting, I can record it. You see, it has started recording here. You see, it's it's very nice and very interesting. Okay, so let me just close this one. We don't need it. So uh, let me close this one also. We are done. Zoom. So um, maybe, as I said, after the meeting, you want to make it available on YouTube so that uh, uh, your staff members who couldn't attend or your students who couldn't attend the session can uh, later visit your channel and then uh, you know do one or two things or follow it. Okay. So getting a YouTube channel, you have to start with a YouTube channel, which is also very simple. Okay, so let's go here. Um, let's open a new window. Okay, let me close the one for this time here. So this new window, uh, just repeat the same procedure. Though for me, I know that you can just type www.youtube.com, okay? But then if you are not so sure, just type uh, www.google.com is the best. It gives you Google search. Uh, we, are, we are already there. So in the Google search, we type YouTube youtube okay i did explain to you uh how to use youtube okay but before i do that okay let me log out from this account i think uh, it will be easier that way so that uh, you will not get confused let me log out youtube is connected to gmail account okay so you need to have a gmail account okay any gmail account that you have is okay it does not really matter so i'll type youtube and enter from my keyboard so www.youtube.com this is the site we want to go so we click on it and uh, let's see okay so you see on the right uh, corner here a sign in so you have to sign in you have to sign in with uh, the email address that you want to create the youtube channel the youtube channel is basically like uh, a platform where you'll be able to upload your videos okay put videos recorded videos and stuff like that okay so let's say uh most of this account of mine have a youtube channel let me get one that we can start from scratch let's say the first one god dress international then i click next to open my password is already saved okay so here we are so we have a god dress international and then uh, you see the, the the that's my account so on the right side here i can just uh, click here and i go to create a channel you see create a channel uh it's, it's very simple so I, I i go there and i create a channel so uh, your creator journey begins okay get started uh then all of that okay so use uh, your name create a channel address international uh yeah select okay address international is okay by me normally you can put your own name okay but i think uh, this is fine by me very simple your channel address international has been created wow as simple as that no stress we can upload a video uh, sorry a picture okay you can upload a picture here and then uh, so that it will show on your profile uh, let's come down here so this is the place to upload so you click on upload and uh, you look for a picture from your desktop or from your computer and then you click open then it's gonna upload okay uh, I don't want to do that now because uh, I don't have any picture in mind then uh, you write a short uh, description of whatever you want to do if you have a website you put your website here then you click on save and continue you go to next and then your channel will be created it's quite simple okay but uh, actually i'm not ready for this particular uh, channel so i will not create this channel so uh, basically these are the steps to create your new youtube channel then once you have created what next okay so let me go to another uh, channel of mine then I'll show you what we can do. Let's say you want to upload a video, you know, you want to upload a video. Then what are you going to do? Okay, 
wait a minute. Uh, it's not responding now. I don't know what's wrong with this guy here. Okay, it's okay. Let me go to www.youtube.com. Okay. Yeah, I want to use a different account and then upload a video. Uh, sign out. Okay, then sign in again. Let me use this account. Uh, Okay, so I'm now in my new account. So I'll go to this site here with the C. Okay, then uh, I go to YouTube Studio. Okay, YouTube Studio. Okay, let me close this. We have several ways of uploading a video. Uh, the quickest way is to start from here. Okay. Uh, here we can do a live video, but I want to upload a video which is already on my computer. So I click on upload videos. You see the symbol for upload. I click there and you select a file. Okay, so the file is the video that you want to upload. So just a video that you have. If you have any, uh, let me see if I have a very short video so that uh, we can use for illustration purposes. Uh, Maybe this one is okay. I click open. Then it will just start uploading. Uh, it can take a little while, you know. Then the title of the video, uh, uh, let's say Godress International. Uh, Godress International. Welcome. Note. The description. Welcome. Okay, it's still uploading, right? It's, it's still uploading. Then is this uh, for kids? Uh, no, it's not for kids. Uh, then uh, it will upload. When it finished here, it will give you, uh, what should I say, images, some of the images in your video, okay? Then you pick one of them as a thumbnail. Thumbnail is like the front cover. You know, normally it's like a picture. Uh, from the video one of them uh, it gives you different images like the ones you have here good it didn't take long so the one that i want it to be the cover which is a thumbnail i just select if this is okay by me i select but some people uh, sometimes uh, create their own thumbnail so if you have your own thumbnail that you have created you go to upload and then uh, you you put your own with your text and everything you know uh, that's also another thing that maybe we can look at another time but for a simple uh, uploading of a video i'll just uh, select one of them i'll go down here to see if there's anything uh, there are other things we could do here but it's okay we don't need it for now so this is uh, the link that you can give to people and once they click on it they will connect your youtube channel so i can copy this link here right it's copied so i go to next uh Go to next, then let me see down here. Uh, next, okay, let's see. Then uh, processing. So, before you publish, you will check your video for copyright issues and help you resolve them. Okay, now I go to next. Okay, then I'm here, right? So, uh, on this side here save or publish video i want to uh, publish it publicly if you want to make it private that you can only be the person who has access to it or you can select some people that you want them to have access to okay then you can do that but i want to pu uh, publish it publicly okay so once you click on that then you come to publish don't forget this is the link again you can copy it i did copy it earlier you can just play to see uh, hello everyone this is Gar 
yeah so once everything is said just click on publish and it's gonna publish for you okay just click on publish it's very simple okay let me click on publish so that you have an idea what i'm talking about okay though i didn't have any plans to publish this one now i can send the link to some social media platforms like facebook whatsapp and stuff like that i just click okay i'm not interested in that for now so i'll close this one here right now what i want you to see is that uh, let me go to a new window and then go and search youtube so the link let's say i put it in the address bar uh, I can use backspace to delete, then I paste to paste that is control V. Okay, then I click on enter. So this is the link. Okay, I click on enter. I just want to see whether uh, our video has been published. So this is YouTube, and let's see what happens. Hello, everyone. See, God bless this is International. God bless you International. Welcome. I want to welcome you in a very special way. God bless you. Bye. Wow. So uh, everyone can create a YouTube channel and then upload videos and then send the link to you know uh, family and friends and uh, fans so that they can uh, have a look at the content so uh, that's it that's it so basically we've been able to go through uh, three important things okay that is a uh, skype zoom youtube another important thing uh, that we can go through briefly is called google classroom google classroom okay uh, Google Classroom is used for many schools uh, to have lessons. Uh, if you are an institution where a teacher, you want to reach your learners in this season where uh, physical contact is restricted, then you can use Google Classroom. So let me close this one here and let me show you how to use Google Classroom. Uh, it's very simple to use. All you need is a Gmail account, okay? So have a Gmail account uh, created. And then if you have one already, log into your account. And then you come to this side here. You see the nine dot here? Okay, so click on the nine dot. Then you go down to look for classroom. Classroom is here. Okay. So let's see. So it gives you the platform where you are going to manage your class. Now, uh, you start from this uh, plus symbol here. Okay. You click there, you see it says that uh, create or join a class. So let's say if I'm a student and I want to join a class which has been created by my science uh, teacher, I'll use this plus button. Then I select join. Okay. So join, I have to put uh, a code that the teacher will give me anytime you create a new class. Uh, a code will be given to you. So you give this code to your student, maybe via WhatsApp or email. So once I put the code here, I'll be able to click join. Then it will take me to the platform where I will see everything that my teacher has created. The notes, the videos, uh, the instructions, the assignment, anything that he has put for us to I mean, go through, I'll have access to them. And I can also ask questions on the same platform, right? But here I'm not going to join a class, so, but I'll use the same plus symbol and create a class. So I have to accept the terms of uh, condition, continue, and uh, the name of the class, uh, science class, science class, or let's say grade 12, science class, section, subject, and stuff like that. Uh, let's say uh, science, uh, room, and you can put uh, any details you want, then I'll go to create. It's still trying to create you can see here creating okay so now almost done so that that's it now this code is so important class code this is the code i'm going to give to my learners okay so i can copy this code but well, let me get rid of this one here it says a great announcement uh, all so i don't need this one for now so let me close this one so you just copy this code okay you copy it and then you go and send it to your students so that they can join your class so over here we can do so many things here you can even grade your students here assess them and grade and stuff like that so many things okay so uh i am here on stream 
let me go to classroom oh, sorry classwork so where I, I when i get to classwork i can create a new classwork you see create assignment and questions use topics to organize a classwork into modules or units okay so go to uh, create and then i want to create a uh, maybe assignment or a quiz or a question or a material name them anything you want okay so if it's a material i want to make available to them i say uh let's say uh what 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 uh plants and animals or let's say living organisms in brief living organisms right then uh, i put whatever i want to put okay living organism consists of what 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 or just uh, go through the attach handout handout or content okay so i just attach anything i want to attach whether it's a, a link to youtube video or it's a file it's all up to you so let me say i have a file i want to upload which has information about uh, you know living organisms i go to browse here okay i'm going to upload from my computer so let's see so i just go to where uh, the document is on my computer you know then i just upload it's very simple very very simple and straightforward so i don't know uh if this is the thing whatever uh you want to upload just pick it and then you upload uh, it's straightforward let's say tax one and then you click on open okay okay this is on fertilizers anyway <laughs> but it's fine it's for just illustration purposes so you click open so it's gonna attach your work right so it has attached this one so if i am done i can just uh, post it once i post and i send out the link you know the code to the learners they can have us if i want to post it in a future date i can schedule it right or if i want to save it as a draft it's up to me but i want to post it so i post it right so i have created a class where uh, my learners uh, can be invited and they will have access to this material okay so let's say i go and invite one of my students let me go back to my email uh compose uh, let's say this is a uh, Calvert Cafe. Uh, I say, uh, what what was the topic? Uh, it was living organisms. Organisms. Okay. Find the notes on living organisms. Join the class. Join Google Classroom with this code. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is how it's copied anyway. <laughs> it's, it's okay. So let's send. It's just the code that I want. I don't want this background. Uh, it's okay. So yeah, uh, I'll send it to this student. So let's go to this student's uh, uh, email account and see the invitation. Okay, just uh, give me a moment. I'm trying to get into the other email so that we check it. So uh, that's the email sent uh, by the teacher. So we will just open this one. So this is the code that we want, okay? I just want this code, not uh, the whole thing here. Uh, don't save. Uh, or you can write it down. So I copy this. So I want to join uh, the class as a student. So I go to Google Classroom by clicking on the nine dot here. I go down to Classroom. Where is it? Classroom. Okay. Okay. Uh, continue. 
then you remember you go to the plus sign then this time i'm not creating a class i'm joining a class so i put the code here right then after that i come here to say join so it's already joining here we come grade 12 science class it's so simple it's so simple okay it's so simple so uh, i'll go to classwork living organisms right okay let me see what is this so i click here and you see the attachment so i can view the attachment or i can download it it's all up to you okay so i'm clicking on it to see you know this was the content i uploaded so uh yeah it's quite simple very simple let me see uh something here let's go back here okay let's go back material let me see something i want to see if uh it was able to download downloads uh, uh this one okay let me see. I should be able to download for you. Uh, it's not coming. I can print it anyway. Can print it anyway. So that's the content. Uh, so it's uh, very simple to actually get to, you know, whatever the teacher has uh, posted for you to come and have a view of it. Very simple. Just click on it, and then you have all the details. Uh, let me see uh, details and then uh, download permission okay I guess I was supposed to give permission for uh, downloading that's why I'm not seeing the download option but uh, when you get the chance uh, check you will be able to uh, decide whether the student can actually download the activity you have attached or not okay so this is a uh, Google classroom uh, very simple I hope uh, you enjoy the lesson and uh, the last three, I will not uh, spend much time on them. There are other social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Okay. So let's say if I want to create an Instagram account, uh, just follow the same procedure www.google.com. You come here, you click Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Then you go and look for it. So this is the address www.instagram.com you click here or before you click there you can come to sign up and stuff like that but it's okay there are so many ways to do it i already have an account you see otherwise uh, you will see uh, an option uh, to sign up you click and then you'll be able to sign up so you will repeat the same thing for twitter you go to google you look for twitter then you sign up okay here is login so i could have clicked here to log in or to sign up and then you can do the same thing for linkedin so uh, basically these are very useful social media platforms that uh, can help you uh, a lot so uh, enjoy it god bless you bye